Hello guys and welcome to episode 14 of my Napoleon Total War campaign playing as Great Britain going for world domination victory. So far it's going pretty well. We have taken most of the French settlements, we've just got a few more to clean up and then we can start focusing fully on Spain and taking them out. Uh, that will give us another four regions here. I'll probably wipe out Portugal while I'm there. That will give us a new trade node, some more sugar. Uh, then I'm going to go through the Mediterranean. We'll clean up the Kingdom of Sardinia, the Kingdom of Sicily, probably the Kingdom of Naples, and also the Papal State. Just take all of that land. Maybe take some of the Ottomans' lands if they are still here, but I think Austria might beat us to that. We'll see. Regardless, last time around we destroyed Switzerland, which is great. And I think most of our movement was done, except from the siege at Toulouse. And I've decided that we're probably just going to play it out. It'll be a lot more fun, I think, if we do it now than if we wait for John Moore to come across. Let's just jump on it. Last time, the Swiss army got very aggressive. It was actually really fun. They came right at us, straight into a melee. They ran their cavalry through my cannons. They nearly killed all the cannons, but... Well, not all the cannons, but some of the cannons. And, um... Yeah, it was it was an insane battle, so make sure to go check it out if you haven't already. But let's see how we want to do this. I'm probably just going to play off the left-hand side here. Since they're all aligned... To the right. I'm going to keep our forces relatively contained for the time being. No cannons in this battle, so what makes it a bit interesting. My cav can just frontal charge armed citizenry and do a decent amount of damage. Oh, the other interesting thing about this battle is we're going to have to play offensive. There's actually no point in me trying to go around them because they're just going to uh, continuously change their formations. Unless they want to come at me with some cav. Quite happy to welcome that. Don't really want to engage their cav with my own though because it would be a waste. Since their cavalry can to ours before we hit them though. So. We will see. Don't want to run my troops forwards, it's an absolute absolutely bad idea. We're just gonna casually wander towards them. I've spread out my units to the max to kind of match their line, but honestly could end pretty badly. The numbers is what I'm worried about. Because it means that they're going to get round our flanks. With any luck though. We can maybe shift our army over. As we continue to get closer. And then break down their flank from maybe like right to left. We're going to need the cavalry wherever. We're going to try and break down the the flank. It will go right to left. Sir. I'm a King's German Legion foot here. Almost ready to go. But left to right might have been a better idea because of all the arm citizenry. <laughs> On the right side we have all the fizzlers. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Might have to start running soon that we are in line if they want to come towards us. Okay, this is good. This is really good, actually. Continue moving forwards. I'm going to keep these guys where they are. We move forwards a little bit. But not too much. We are much better in melee, so I'm hoping to kind of take advantage of that at some point.
Honestly, I could actually bring my calf to the left. Almost completely messed up the order. Alright, let's, let's do this. We'll run these back because we've already started shooting them on the left-hand side. And the reason that it matters that we've already started engaging them is because if they use their shots to shoot my line infantry, we can then charge them frontally with the cav and do a lot of damage against armed citizenry. Like it'll probably just break them immediately. But we want to do it on the flank so that units behind, for example in the middle here, can't shoot at my cav at, at the same time. Here we go. There we go. Right. This is going to do loads of damage. Oh, the enemy cabs here. Alright, let's pull back. And I'm actually going to engage these in melee. We'll charge them as well. Yeah, that's all good. That will help us take them out. We actually survived with 49 horses there. That's just because of how bad armed citizenry are. They are tired. Still trying to get away from my charge. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Right, let's charge into the armed sister there. We'll charge into the ones behind as well. They are trying to team up on my units, so we'll try and stop that. Ooh, nice charge. They are concerned fighting cavalry. Oh wow, they just got absolutely annihilated. And those guys got shaken and shattered. I'm just going to charge their calf with my own. And we're also going to get our line infantry involved. Actually, one thing we might be able to do is uh, engage those armed citizenry and completely shatter them. Our left flank has done fantastically so far. I'm not sure what these are doing, but they really need to get involved. Oh, that's a general. Okay, well that's handy as well. We just shattered the armed citizenry. Don't need to chase them down. Uh, we will... Charge into the back of these armed sisters right now. I'm going to have these guys start lining up to engage again. Got a lot of lovely work done here. Alright, we shattered them. Hopefully we can shatter this armed citizenry. We need to stay away from that square formation, but we can kill this armed citizenry next to them as long as we just don't start melee with the Fusiliers, which should be fine. Right, let's get out of there. These guys are ready to go. We're going to turn off fire at will until our cab gets out and turn it back on again. Great. There we go. And since they were in square formation, that actually made them take way more damage. These guys are actually going to run out of ammunition. Uh, let's start moving some men down here. Continue to move our men across as well. So far, this has been a really, really good battle considering the units that we had access to. Alright, best bet, definitely. 
to clean up these units as they run away. Okay, those ones got shattered already, so that's fine. We don't need to attack them. I'm just going to have the Dragoons move behind. Uh, where are these guys going? Uh, I guess what we can do is this. Then have them fill in. Since these are shooting uphill, maybe we can shoot over our men, but we're just going to move these out of the way. Uh, these armed citizenry back here, we can probably charge them. They get left behind. Our general is under attack. Move my general back further because he's probably just taking some stray yes, shots. Yes, oh, they are already tired and concerned. Very good. Right, we shattered them. Move back. Oh damn, we took a full volley there from the line infantry. Yeah, I think it was like a half volley, but it killed a lot of them, regardless. Nasty. The camp has done really well for us. So I don't really mind if I lose it now, but it would be sad. Get as many guns on target as we can. Our men are running, sir. Oh, they've decided to leave. Okay. <laughs> sure. Timing was a bit weird. Hopefully they'll recover. I should have my general come over here and try and help them out with a rally ability. A bit late. A bit late now, honestly. Oh well. Actually, moving there is not the best idea. I don't want them to be in range of these fizzlers if when we engage these guys. We'll start to enclose on them. Right, let's have these meet. And then they can buff them up again and get them back into the fight. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. <laughs> Find one volley and it's just it's just done. <laughs> Okay, cool. Uh, tell you what, we're going to charge. Let's go. We outnumber them. Let's just kill them. It's a settlement battle, so we just need them to run away. In we go. We'll have the cavalry come in the back side. We're going to have our general start charging towards them as well. And I'll even use the rally ability. Once we get close... Victories are is soon to be on. There we go. Finished it rather historically. And the French just bottled it. They're just gone. Wonderful. Land the battle there. Heroic victory. What was I worried about after all? Okay, 453 loss, 2,300 killed. Thank you for the settlement, France. Appreciate it. That gives us a gold mine. Oh boy. So that's going to make us some money. Up to 9,100.
Now we can see what's in Marseille. Uh, there's a small army there. Cool. We are going to get a little bit of attrition. Not attrition, replenishment. But that's okay. I was hoping for a bit more, but yeah, we're not really going to move on with this army until we get our cannons anyway. I could always leave Toulouse and uh, head back up to Paris. That is a possibility. The army from Marseille wouldn't be able to take Toulouse back in one turn. Hmm. Tough decisions, tough decisions. That is the only decision I need to make as well for the rest of the turn. We could, in fact, uh, try and lay an ambush. Because that would open up Marseille to be taken in the next turn. I think I'm going to try that. That is going to cause this to rebel, but I'm just going to exempt it from tax because I don't really need that extra money. And we've got 1,400 left to spend. Uh, recruit a couple more ships. Do nicely. Or maybe just one more. Alright, let's uh, add the line infantry to the queue in Paris and we'll end the turn. Well, our ambush worked, but <laughs> I don't know what the AI is doing. <laughs> I don't know if they intentionally like threw what, one stack down here just to check. Like, the AI maybe like knew that I had an ambush, so they did this. Like. <laughs> That's so cheating. Come on. How do we lose 144 in an ambush battle? You are joking me. Oh, man. We're not going to get to Paris in time to defend it. Although, we will have plenty of cannons. Cannons and armed citizenry. Hmm. I wonder. Is it possible? I could also recruit a general there. That would might tell them to bugger off. <laughs> oh, can't believe that ambush. It was like a, such a good idea as well. <laughs> Lost 144 men. <laughs> this is why you don't auto resolve in Empire or Napoleon to the war. So harsh. All right, Spain's coming up with their two two armies as well now, which is uh, pretty worrying. Infamy. Okay, suspicious death, John Moore. Oh no, did he get assassinated? Your Majesty. Oh, jokes. Gonna enlist new general. Uh, we'll grab the uh, courageous leader. Ready and waiting for all. All right. Thomas Graham is available. For the guy we got, it is indeed. It works on strike. It's fine, works on strike. They are now happy again. Are they happy in both of them? They are. Can I turn back on tax? No. Alright. Building constructed in Scotland. Uh, does this allow recruitment? No, it doesn't. Let's build the barracks there. Right, we have the merchantman finished somewhere. Find that eventually. But here, I think we're going to have to grab another a leader. How many units of armed citizenry are we going to have? Five? Damn. It's going to be rough. 
we'll get the Corporal in Gold Braid for that. And if we are going to just come under Siege, I'll probably just grab a bunch of Fensibles that can all converge on Paris. Therefore we don't actually have to send too much back. So here, are we able to take this settlement? They are queuing some stuff by the looks of things. Maybe a good idea to take them out there sooner than later. Right, we could, I think, set up an ambush. Or I could head towards Pamplona. I think I'm just going to go for the ambush. Like, we'll just kind of stay here and use the replenishment. Can we ambush here? It is hilly light forest. Do we need, like, heavy forest? Surely we can ambush through here. Nope. It's weird. Yes. Oh well. Uh, we want him to stay in that set up in that province because he is still replenishing using the supply depot. I'm probably gonna upgrade that to a supply warehouse, just so useful. Yes, my lord. As for example here, the Duke of Wellington's just recruited, re-recruited so many men. Uh, we could, in fact, head towards Stuttgart here. I think that's what we're going to do. But do we do it this turn? I'm not sure. Yes. Your Majesty? That's certainly an army. We can leave the fence walls there. Your Majesty. And maybe we'll come back. Uh, I'm going to come back, and what we're going to do is probably just leave our army here for this turn. The next turn, I reckon we can probably push on to Stuttgart. It really does depend on what's there, and honestly, we might have left Strasbourg, like, undefended. Um, if we're going to do that, we may as well just bring them out. Yeah, we'll just stack everything we have at Switzerland. And if they want to take Strasbourg, they can just surrender it. We'll ask it to surrender, that's fine. Or just take it, whatever. I don't mind. Okay, they, they, they're going to be in ambush again. Not possible, sir. So we're just moving backwards and forwards. Maybe they'll fall for it this time. <laughs> I'm just going to leave him there for now, though. Unless we want to push in. <laughs> it's, it's another decision I'm going to make. He did relatively well before. But again, we'd be outnumbered. Ready and awaiting orders. Just worked out so well in the last battle. Let's do it. Let's go for it. <laughs> Alright. What's behind Settlement them? Besieged. Two units. Settlement okay. Besieged. We'll give it a go. Oh man. I am not... I am not happy about this attack. I mean, you guys can probably tell. I'm not very... I'm not apprehensive very often. I only am when I feel like I'm on the brink. Because regardless of what the auto result says, they still do have an arse ton of men. But if we can manage it the same way we did before, get some good cavalry charges in again, maybe we'll be okay. I'll keep these probably together here for the time being. And then we'll spread them out now as we move towards them. I'm going to just speed things up, just keep moving towards them. Try and force onto one flank, like we did before. With any luck, it will work.
Well, they are currently charging me with their horses here. Bring kill some calf. Straight away. Especially the general. We're in a really good spot. And these guys are shooting them in the back of the head. That's not good. Go on, kill the general. Can do it, guys. Okay. I'll do it. Don't need to chase him down or anything. It's a shame we haven't killed the general. I'm gonna let them line up before we do anything. Because these guys on the left need to get back into position after that engagement. They've got the Fusiliers on the left. Two Fusiliers there. Two more Fusiliers there. So those are the four elite units. I say elite. Normal units. <laughs> then the armed citizenry on the weaker units. Now, on this left side, they do have stakes, so I'm more inclined to actually push the right side. So let's start pushing up left, or right, sorry, if we can do the opposite to last battle. We can just get all of the uh, all of the infantry just start engaging us on the right. Yes, sir. We're good. Want to stay out of range of the left side. Oh shit! We think we've aggroed the left side. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. That was close. I want to aggro the right side, not the left side. So whenever we push in on the right, they just move they move back. Maybe this is like a weird AI thing where they love to attack on the left first. Hmm. Alright, we'll move these back over to the left then. <laughs> and we can manipulate them to like attack our left side first. There we go. Yeah, that's really weird. It doesn't seem to work the other way around. Oh, here it goes. I'm gonna have to get my calf to get a move on. Oh, those guys took so much damage. able to kill this unit of infantry since they are on their own. Saying that an armed citizenry is going to start firing on us here shortly. Ready, 
Probably just gonna charge him. Should break him. Alright, cool. Got him. <clears throat> that cavalry unit on the right hand side. Should die quite quickly. These guys are gonna have to fall back. At least we're doing a lot of damage to that Fizzler unit. is way harder than the last battle. Way more micro involved. Those cabs still aren't gone. Okay, now they are good. They're shattered. Gotta keep moving this cab around the left side. I'm gonna have my other cavalry move to the right hand side. Pushing on them aggressively. What we need to do right now. We're starting to encircle them a bit, which is nice, but I just need to have the cab in position to charge them in the back. Oh boy. Where's my other cab unit? They're taking their time. Let's just run them up and around. That's a point blank shot, isn't it? Wow. That's pretty nasty, actually. I can probably hit the armed citizenry on the far right flank quite well with the cavalry charge. I might go for that. Right, we're going to engage these guys in my. Oh, these guys need to make sure they're not getting shot. Oh, don't get shot, don't get shot, don't get shot. Oh boy. Go through, go through the town, guys. Okay, I'm going to finish off these armed citizenry, I'm going to get my general involved. Uh, we did actually beat these guys in melee. Nice. Try and kill some more of them. Because we can probably continue that momentum straight through into the uh, the line of tree there. Our general is under attack. Now let's start charging them. Right, if the armed citizen really kill my general, I'm just gonna rage quit. Just just saying now. But uh <laughs> otherwise I think we're okay. <laughs> I might have to charge these fusiliers so they don't shoot my general. <laughs> so we're coming in from oh shit. Square formation. Break off guys. Right, keep charging guys, keep charging. Beautiful. We've done it. Glorious victories, huh? It's soon to be yours. That was great. That was actually really, really good. That was really fun. Pretty much perfect use of an opportunity there to get into a long melee with them that we can win especially considering most of my units do have extra ranks now i'm just gonna keep this going on for a little bit because i might be able to pick up a few more ranks if i just run them down see if any of the infantry can get enough experience to level up don't think they can 
All right, we'll leave it at that then. So we don't actually need to run them down for the settlement, but um, yeah, for the ranks potentially. All right, that's Marseille. Wonderful. And I guess we just canceled their recruitment. So now France is left with Torino, which there is a huge army here. And Munich and Stuttgart. So, I guess we can't really push much further than we have. But he's got a couple new traits. He's got mentioned in dispatches and brave soldier now. Which is cool. Well deserved. Especially considering he got in there with the light dragoons. And, well, we've actually secured pretty much the last... Port. Actually, there is one here as well on Corsica that they could build, but they haven't built up this one yet. Damn, this has been uh, pretty crazy. Right, let's uh, try and jump into Madrid. Please work. Okay, fantastic. Now we'll just leave him there for a little while and we'll have eyes on all of the Spanish armies after that. Hmm. Right, we could push through, but... I think we're just going to stay here. I might move to the point where we're like on the border. Men, so we have maximum movement range if we want to attack somewhere. All right, time to move our navies. Uh, I think we're just going to leave Horatio Nelson where he is. I'll use the merchantman to scout, I think, the far right. Let's just jump these into position. That's another 320. That's another 620 spices. And uh, we'll carry on to the coffee there as well. Now, ivory is still definitely worth the most. So let's just pile into here for now. I'm not sure it really matters which one we go in. How much has that devalued it? It's gone down to 35. But her income's probably shot up, yeah. Ready for action, right, continue around with these guys. Probably going to have these two go around to the ivory. Uh, on the right side there. That's good. Ready for action. Would be nice if you could fix up units when they're in trade positions. I guess it wouldn't really make sense, but kind of a pain having to like sail all the way back up to England right now. I guess we should normally own Gibraltar. So there is that. Just keep going down. Good. Moved up the most of those. We only get like cotton, tobacco, and furs up here, don't we? So we want to, yeah, we still want to focus on sugar, ivory. Well, we do have sugar here. Actually, no, it's cotton, never mind. But that was sugar. Hmm. The closest sugar one's definitely there. These ones we're going to head to sugar anyway, so. That's fine. Just double check these. New new ship. Okay. Let's uh, try and get them into there if they can. Alright, we'll do that next turn. I'm really glad my agent got into Madrid. Really, really good. And I should probably start getting Army Corps organization and mass mobilization going. And again, I need to unlock the next <laughs> the next technologies. The Court of Justice is four turns away. The factory is three turns away. Might be just in time. 
Now here we'll build the drill skull. But we do need mass mobilization before we can build that, I believe. So... Hmm. Interesting. I send the turn. See what France gets up to. They might attack Paris. Well, they sent one of their big armies up towards Switzerland. And we can, in fact, intercept these guys. I think we're going to. That's absolutely fine. We can just surround them. And kill them off. We'll just spread out our line. Nice and wide. I'm actually going to run into position. I'm going to make sure my cav get round behind them. I could just... I could actually just run into melee. We could do a first volley, then melee, actually. That might not be too bad. I want the general to be in a position where he's going to take like random fire. They're coming. I'm just going to enclose on them a little bit more. All right, let's have them run. Uh, the one further back's kind of in a bit of an awkward position for us. We can get a shot off though. <laughs> That's fine. That's rather amusing actually. <laughs> Look at the hit and run. Infantry <laughs> reporting. Here comes the cav. Glorious victory, sir. It's soon to be yours. Line infantry. Right, I'm gonna have all of these just start converging. Uh, melee mode. Let's go. in the rear. Oh, those guys took a massive chunk of damage. Bam. There we go. The cab took quite a lot of damage, but well worth it. Now those should be in melee as well. Right. Do we end the battle? No, I'm going to make sure they're dead. Right now, we're in the battle. Just wanted the infantry to like kill them. There we go. Right, we're under siege, which is good. We're not being attacked. That means we are going to be able to get the fencibles to converge on Paris and hopefully save us there. We are likely going to have to sally forth in order to force that battle. 
but it doesn't really make much of a difference in Napoleon Total War because we never really have walls anyway. Not like Empire Total War where the AI just goes crazy and builds forts everywhere. <laughs> it does get quite obnoxious, but in this case, no. All right, poor old Paris. You wouldn't want to be a resident in Paris, would you? They just constantly get sieged. Right, this guy's actually in range to help out, isn't he? We sent him back for that reason. All right, Karen is done. Mass mobilization is next. That is fine. We got two new trading ports. We got loads and loads of new infantry ready to go. And what I'm going to do is we're going to get all of these to jump on here. And they're going to start making their way to Gibraltar. I'm going to have that one jump in there. We can zoom down. Have this one zoom down. One zoom down. Lovely. That one can move to there. These guys can keep raiding through Straits of Gibraltar. Good. Really good. Just this ship that's heading to one of these. And I'm going to guess, actually, that they occupy one of them. Yeah, it looks like they control this one. So we'll go and take them out there. And look at all these messages. <laughs> Unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. We had a fantastic episode today. I think Michael Stahl has done me proud. He's been passive for so long. And coming down and taking Toulouse and Marseille in quick succession was really, really good. Really good. And now what we're going to do is probably take the Duke of Wellington to Stuttgart, Munich, and then we'll come back and deal with the big army that's probably going to take Switzerland. We'll probably just concede Switzerland to them because that's fine because uh, we're going to have this army go back to Paris uh, he can probably just pick up a bunch of fencibles I don't even mind and then he can uh, come back down to wherever he's needed honestly great not quite in range to attack Pamplona but we might be in range to attack Barcelona nope We'll just stand here and replenish again for this turn. I'm going to wait for, I think, one of the Spanish armies to attack me. Rather than go offensive. At least we'll wait until this army is sorted before we'll go offensive. These four cannons, they need to head down to Marseille eventually. But yeah, next time, this will be the battle we do. That's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah,